Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can remove the documents tab kind of outline button, just in case you find that somewhat distracting and it's something that you don't want. Now, I do hope at some point there's a feature where it allows you to hide it, not only just hide this, but also this little, you know, overview button, just because you're able to go to the view and here expand it. You can also use hotkeys to do it. So it, this just seems a little bit unnecessary outside of just letting, you know, users know, hey, there's something here, click it, check it out. And, you know, I think it would be nice to be able to customize that for those who want it or for those who don't. In this, it is just for the session. It's going to be a temporary thing. And unfortunately, it will not stick if you refresh it, if you open a new tab in like Chrome or whatever web browser you're using. It's only going to be for that one time. What we're going to do is we're going to adjust and hide this different element within the code of Google Docs. Now, it's pretty easy to get it, especially once when you've done it a couple of times. So I'll just show you quick. And, you know, it's up to you if you want to do this for every single section or maybe you want to do it if you have a longer writing session. Totally up to you, but figured I'd share it. Again, it's kind of a lot just to do this one thing, but some might appreciate it. What you need to do is hold the shift button and then right click overview. That's going to give some different options like inspect. This is going to be in kind of Chrome as you're going through it. I believe you're able to do this with some other web browsers. I'll have to double check and see. So if it's, you know, might be a little different in, you know, Firefox or another one, but in any case, this is opening up the code in the HTML of this website. So if you kind of go through this, you can see that it highlights different portions of it and it's highlighting this one. So really all you need to do is just kind of follow that up until it gets close to around here where there's multiple ones in a row. The one that I found that works um, well is this one. You can do some other ones in here too, but this mini chapter switcher core dev class is the one that I've typically done and it hides it. Now, what we're gonna do is right click and just push hide element. When you do that, now it's disappeared. So that isn't on this specific session anymore. So again, I'm highlighting if you refresh the page, if you go to a different tab, it's going to be different because it's not in this session. We've adjusted some of the coding for this one. And when you re refresh, it'll go back to the defaults. And there isn't really an easy way for, you know, a normal user to do that. It would kind of be like a developer or something there to like adjust things similar to like if you want this to be in dark mode, which I think is a great one. You can adjust coloring of different things. It just takes a long time to get all of this dark and, you know, it's not not going to show it in this video. But in any case, for this session, we now have this hidden and we can, you know, type, do whatever we want and adjust this here. So we're all good. Now, if you want to, you can go to view and then go expand the sidebar and you can switch over, hide it, and you can see that that is still not showing. So the session is still there. Alternatively, you can hold control alt and then fairly quickly push A and then H still while holding those two control alt buttons. So control alt is being held and then I just tap AH. And you can see that automatically opens up the document tab and I can adjust as needed. And then control alt AH and it removes that and hides it. So again, it would be a nice feature just that that button isn't there. I think it's just most likely so that everyone knows, hey, there's something new, click this button, check it out. But hopefully at some point we can just automatically, you know, have a toggle here instead of having to adjust some of the coding of, you know, the website. So as I mentioned, let's say that you're working on this and maybe you close your computer or you need to refresh. So I'm just going to push control R to refresh the tab. When I do that, you can see that all of this stuff is starting to go. The document tab is automatically open. When I go smaller, now it's back there. So as I mentioned, that isn't going to be an end all fix all. It's just a temporary for the session. So if you're just jumping in for, you know, five, 10 minutes, it's probably not worth doing this. But if you're planning to be sitting and writing for hours on end, it might be worth taking a couple of minutes to, you know, hold shift, right click, inspect, 
find the highlighted one and go up a bit to mini chapter switch core and then hide the element. So if you're really wanting it, you know, that can be a solution for it. So anyway, hopefully you find this helpful. As always, please do those YouTube things like share, subscribe, leave a comment if you have some questions on this or maybe if, you know, a different web browser looks a little different, send those instructions or, you know, if it's not working. I am using Chrome. I should should have said that earlier on. So it might look different with different web browsers or it might not be an option. Uh, I'll try to do some some testing myself too after this and, you know, I guess leave it somewhere in the comments if, if I find it really doesn't work for other things. But anyway, thanks again. See you in the next one. Bye now.